Welcome to another episode of Insights with Young Living. Uh, today, we have a very, very special guest, um, someone who is noticeable from very far away. Um, she's Shihan, the co-founder of a movement to better lives through wholesome nutrition, natural essential oils, and integrative exercises. She's also an advocate for mind, body, and soul wellness, and thinks that being healthy is not as complex as it seems. Meet Shihan, everybody. Hi, Shihan. Hi. Hi, thank you for joining mm. us. Yes. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> like, very, very, very humbling and honored. Thank you, thank you, mm. thank you. Wow. Um, your your uh, your bio says uh, that you are very into um, mind, body, and soul wellness. What what does soul wellness actually mean for you? My body and soul. Yeah. Like all together. All three. Yeah. Um, I think I see things in a very like holistic point of view, mm. and I believe. Uh, it is because of my education in social work as well, where when we s- approach things, approach like a, a patient or like a, a client, it is always um, not just see the person's physical needs, mm-hmm. the basic needs, but also like how he or she is doing emotionally, uh, how, how are they facing their life stressors, um, like everything, the work, relationship with the family, relationship with workers, like co-workers, and um, all these things affect like our health. Yeah, so... I just feel that um, we view health as every time we think about health, right? It's like physical, I'm sick, then oh, it's just physical. So we see a lot of like the symptoms and not what is, what really like health encompass, which is like uh, what, our, what our beliefs are, what are we thinking about, which influence like our actions. And then um, how are we feeling, which also influence our actions and our beliefs. So like all these things together, I feel that like my body so. Um, it's so important because uh, once you hit like all three in alignment, I feel that's when like freedom flows right. through us. Right. Yeah. How did you get into it in the first place? Okay, so I uh, I was a medical social worker. Okay. And uh, I actually had a bond for four years. Yeah, so I signed up. As in like I, I signed the, the scholarship when I was 18. And uh, so going into it, Mm. So okay, one year and eleven months, I yeah. broke my bond. Oh, yeah. Wow. So I actually have to pay back uh, whatever the amount by myself. Mm. So my because my my family, my mom, my dad, and my brother, they were all uh in huge how to say disagreement with right. my actions. Right. Yeah. So even if I if I try to t- uh, tell them like why do I do this, I may be not as clear then. Uh, but there there's a lot of struggles and conflicts between us. Yeah. Then, uh, so so what struck me was that in my course of work, there's a lot of firefighting, meaning right. that when things happen, like for example, uh, an elderly fall down or like someone has cancer or um, mm, even like suicide, right? Mm. It's a very like, oh, this happens. We need to do something to uh, a remedial action to correct it. Yeah. So a lot of, it's good in a way where you can, I like crises, yeah, but at the same time, a constant uh, firefighting will make me feel that is there something more that we can do? Yeah, because like if uh, our ultimate goal like, like as a hospital is to reduce people from readmission, like right. I don't want my elderly to keep coming back and see doctor because what's the point? Right. Uh, are we really curing the person itself? So like I feel that mm, my heart lies in preventive work more, doing things that can prevent the fire instead. Yeah, however, it's not very, uh, this is just my own p- point of view, la, it's not very um, valued in the system. And I think uh, KPI, red tape, yeah. very yeah. rigid. Like once, All of even, those stuff. Yeah, even if I want to like do something, oh, a support group from my caregivers, yeah. uh, I have to go through many, 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 many rounds. Yeah. And right. I still remember like, as I think my uh, second last day, <laughs> then uh, like, I, I, I was offered uh, part-time. Yeah. Uh, but, I feel that is um, so the person told me that uh it would take very long to change the system. Yeah. Yeah. And it's normal. Uh for me it takes about three years. So the person also got something that's not uh like something that she wanna change. Mm. And for me, like at that point of time, right, I'm just thinking that um do I really have to wait for three years to do something about it? Yes, there may be. Like I do have I do empathize with like what the system how the system struggles, but mm. at the same time, I feel like there's something more lah. Mm. Yeah, so I feel that perhaps, so I initially want to go into the system to change the system. Right. But I feel like, 
I think I need to be out of the system to change the system. Yeah. Yeah. So I think like all these little, little things like seeing, oh, and I, I'm very interested in palliative care. So that's uh, end of life care. Mm. So that is also the reason why I go into social work in the first place. Right. Yeah. So I feel that when we question about death, there's a lot, like you will know how to, how you want to live. Yeah. When you know how you want to die, you will know how you want to live. So, and anyway, as I was taking uh, the causes, as I speak to like my patients, and I always like to explore like what is good death to them. Yeah, even right. though they wear laulang, right? But then yeah. like sometimes they have pantang. So I just yeah. need to like, just need to like, <laughs> oh, you know how I have a friend or, or an auntie, like that, uh, like, uh, they never say their funeral arrangement before they pass on. Eh. Right. Uh, how about you? Like, you do, do you think like you want this to happen or so? So like, uh, so explain in that way lah. Yeah, wow. but I feel that uh, to me, the quality of life do matters even at the end of the at the end of, end of our lives and I always ask myself like if I were to never break bond eh no 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 what would I regret if I were to die tomorrow as I was yeah. still working yeah. yeah so the first answer is really like not breaking my bond and do something that I really believe in and really 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 stand for yeah so there's a lot of misalignment for myself when I was doing uh, my work in the hospital wow so it was a how to say ah? Uh, because the first thing that I told myself, right? Mm. Oh, a really very long story. Go ahead. <laughs> the, the first thing that I told no, I'm myself. An, I'm enjoying every minute of this. Okay. It's, it's amazing how very you're <laughs> how you're uh, you're so mature. I, I'm I'm extremely impressed. Oh, of course, this is true. A lot of uh, so I'm a believer. So I, I mm. pray, and then uh, another part is I do talk to a lot of people. Like I talk to, oh, talk to young, talk to my peers, and then I think most of my peers are quite supportive. Mm. Yeah. And then I think, uh, and I think because they struggle themselves right. and a lot of them are in a space of resonation. Right. Uh, and I feel very stuck also like, oh, we study so long, right? Really, uh, uh, is this, where are we really going to be? Yeah. Right. If you're not really doing things that we are flourishing in, not in an environment that everyone is flourishing in, right? Then like, really, what's the point to this whole life? Mm, yeah. I see. So, you, you mentioned yeah. that you talk to a lot of people. Uh, uh, does that, does that innate ability for you to communicate and connect with others uh, help you in your outreach message now that you've, you've left your, uh, your previous work and are focusing more on what you really want to do? Do you think that that ability to connect with others helps? Or how do you usually outreach or, or reach out to other people to spread your message? I still remember very first time it was uh, lavender and peppermint oil. I really, really like it. But then I'm very, very cautious as to like, I don't want to be seen as a salesperson. Mm. And then I'm very fearful that people think that I want to sell stuff. Lah. Yeah. Right. So, but then I really, really like it. <laughs> then I really so... Uh, what's the harm in sharing? So yeah. I just share lor. Oh, I use eleven for this. Oh, of course, compliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I use for this. This. Yeah. Then yeah. that's it. Yeah. Just yeah. take like against a very nice photo. Uh, nice background. Okay. Yeah. To me, uh, uh, beauty and aesthetic quite important. <laughs> yeah. That's probably second nature to you already. <laughs> oh no la, I need to try. <laughs> yeah. So after I did that, then like, I, I think. Uh, after a few days or like even the day itself, right, we see quite a few DMs. Like people mm. are like, oh, very interesting, like, mm. the, the oil that you are using and whatnot. Mm. Then that's when I talk more to them. And I think one of the way is that, so that's the initial uh, entry point. Right. And I think the what's next is important as well because everyone is different. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the whole like, the same PSK, how did it really like, how can it really tailor to everyone's needs? Right. Yeah, so like, for example, like this is a, she's a, she's a, she's a, my colleague, also a social worker, what would she need? Oh, she has a baby and then the other one is uh, maybe like, or just come out of, uh, like fresh grad, uh, what would they need in this? Right. Yeah, so I think for me, also because maybe occupational hazard like social workers everyone uh -huh. different so in terms you of like uh, yeah, everything. assessment different and intervention wow. also different and then goals yep. for the person also different so yep. like I always ask them uh, why, you, why you want to use oil yeah because mm. everyone want to use oil very differently mm. yeah so um, for some maybe like it's for emotional support like initial uh, like then the other one is oh I get sick very very often yeah. so that's when I know like or what could be best la. Yeah. yeah and sometimes I feel that um, like I always share things I don't believe in Okay. Yeah. So I, I think after like maybe one year or so, like when people started telling me, like give me feedback as to, uh, like why I choose you and my to 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 sign up under you instead of like maybe other people. Mm. Uh, maybe because like I do not have the intention to sell. 
Ah, okay. In a way, that authenticity like, from you then in, in the sharing yeah. that you truly believe in the product rather than you're pushing a correct, product. Correct, correct. Yeah, because a lot of times I will just leave them as to like, this is what it is. Uh, I need to share about essential rewards versus standard order because <laughs> it's important to know like which one your money more worth it, like yeah. all these things. But based on your capacity, you decide for yourself. Right. So it's, I will share everything so like ultimately, but ultimately the choice uh, is yours. Is the is the customer's yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So I think uh that maybe don't make them feel like I'm pushy mm. or like I I really want to make their money. Then yeah. so like I'll just tell them MLM, this is MLM, and then this is what I believe. Like so I also have my own struggles of it being an MLM for quite a okay. while. So on that oh. note, on that note, <laughs> yeah. it's interesting you brought that up because that's 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 what I wanted to ask next. Oh um, okay. about naysayers. Ah, have, okay. have you have you met with any obstacles or any problems, uh, if you may call it, uh, when you mm. when you share your message or when you try and reach out to someone, and mm. and they just reject you straight up? Have you have you had such experiences before? Mm, not say naysayers, but mm. they maybe question more. Yeah. Okay. So I think in in maybe there's one good thing in a way that like I don't pr- pr- approach people, people approach me. Ah. So it's just and like starting where they are at. Yeah. So are they very gutted, like, mm, I'm not too sure mm. and what. So, it also pacing law, yeah. Mm. So, for some people, like, oh my god, this is so cool, give me all the information. <laughs> now, like, bam, 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 give all the articles and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, but for some, it's like, oh, are you sure this is this? Then they will go and find, like, oh, reason why I leave Young Living. Mm. Then send me the article. Mm. Then, okay, then I'll, like, reply, like, oh, okay, what mm. are the, uh, question with the source, question the credibility, blah, 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 and go through them. Right. So, usually... So it really depends on where they're at. So not really like naysayers, more of um, a lot different more ways. Questions. Yeah, different ways of questions. Uh, and I think once they are convinced, then they are convinced. Mm. Yeah, but if they have more things that they want to say, if I cannot answer, yeah, I'll ask. Uh, I'll ask Kai Law. Yeah. Then, uh, if then I will translate usually the answers to them. Mm. Yeah. If they take it, then they take it. If they don't, they don't reply. It's okay. Right. Yeah. So. And then there are quite a few times where they don't reply. Mm. Then after a while, eh, they ask me again. Right, yeah. right, right. So, um, and even for people who reject, reject, uh, they're quite okay. La. They're like, oh, not for now. They're like, oh, yeah, okay, that's, ca- that's okay. And you just mm. ask me, law. Mm. Yeah, then right. I'll still live my own life. Right. Ma. <laughs> cool, I, I really like that attitude. Like, the, you just brush it off and, and continue. You don't take it, like, you don't take any punches too hard. No lah. Yeah. Mm. On that note, um, essential oil seems to be a big part of your movement as well. Like you mentioned earlier, lavender and peppermint was what got you started, right? And then recently, okay, I'll admit I've been doing a bit of uh stalking on your Facebook. Yeah, uh, you're not very Facebook, clear on your what IG, I'm doing. <laughs> on your IG, right? So like I see a lot of essential oils like thieves and and uh, of course obviously thieves would be the obvious choice because of the whatever's going on recently. Yes. Um but not only that, you 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 have a whole collection of oils and uh, different ways to use the oils as well um, how did you get into essential oils in the in the very beginning apart from uh, you know before the lavender and peppermint was mm. introduced to you so last time when I signed up I only like standard order so like one year by once mm. that kind mm. then uh, after uni when I started working then I went back on essential rewards where I buy monthly because I see that my family can benefit from it also mm. yeah so initially when I tried to uh, tell my mom about essential oils uh, she she don't really believe in it mm. uh, she started from Ningxia Red first mm. yeah so when I feel that uh, everyone can benefit from it uh, it's cost saving ma. Mm. yeah and that's also when I s- study more Mm. and research more like for example like people like Lindsay Almore Jano Sullivan like all the more prominent ambassadors yeah. uh, I really really love science yeah. so when you can give me like uh, research and what, how our body works in relation to all these oils then I also uh, read like Gary Young's transcripts mm. the, uh, the training CDs mm. so I feel that uh, wow very very aligned with like what I believe in and then it's, it's, it's all simultaneous in a way like oh, I'm doing some show work in a medical setting and learning about essential oils and then uh, it aligns with how I view the world and 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 what's the best way to approach a, 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 an illness. Right. Yeah, so uh, so for me, like, it has increased my knowledge uh, which helps me to have more choices. Right. Like, even in the food I eat because it's not just about the oils, it's about your lifestyle, it's about your relationships, it's about the stress that you have in your life. Right. So, as I read more and I do it on my own. Right. I feel it more. So, uh, that is why it is very essential 
part of my life. Mm. So it is also very essential in a part of my movement also. Law. Right. Mm. I gather also you're quite an avid reader. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, you, you love to read a lot of books. You have a lot in your collection as well. Do you have a favourite quote? Oh, yes. Can what what would that be? Yeah, sure. Go okay. ahead. So it's actually like this quote uh, from William Marion Sum. I don't okay. know whether you're here before. Called Our, Dis- Our Deepest Fear. Okay, so it says that uh, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It mm. is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine, as children do. We were born to many to make manifest no to we were born to manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our let and as we let our light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Wow. Amazing. That is so strong. Yeah. Thank you so much for, mm. for taking the time to sit down and chat with Thank me today. Um, I, I, I'm humbled beyond words and, and, and truly impressed uh, by, by you and your level of maturity, maturity and thinking. And um, all I have to say is don't ever change because mm. you're awesome. You're Thank amazing. You. Yeah. Thank you so My much. My privilege.